hostile attack? A gamma weed over there. Holy crap. Get in, get in, get in. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. It is episode 99. That's right, one more to 100, and we got something special planned for 19, uh, for no, number 100. For 99. Well, I gotta speak to Null. Uh, you see, last time I kind of left this platform, this uh, hollow terminus, prematurely and confused the game. <laughs> and, uh, good old Null. Yeah, he. He didn't appear. <laughs> so, just a restart, and yeah, he's there. So let's continue and talk to Null. Two lost souls. One who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? I guess he's ta talking about Apollo as well. Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did once upon a time. I was angry, confused in my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I'm here now, and I need your help. The Atlas. It is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Why do you need my help? The Sentinels do not just keep the peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that, seeking out anomalies in the multiversal structure and eliminating, eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a sentinel would do if they came across my form? No, it has to be you, Traveler. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There, there we will find the first secret. I'm sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us, no more than the air or the wind might be called such names, but it is terrified, it is in pain, and we have a responsibility to help its suffering no matter the cost. Alright then. Visit the observatory, which is where? I need to find out where it is. First of all, uh, over there. 8 minutes and 15 seconds on foot. No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to fly there. What? Oh, hi. Okay. I was just wondering if that was a bipedal animal. It's not. Okay, let's go. And check out this observatory to locate that freighter. I don't think this will take long to go uh, to get there. Approximate location. Well, sure. Well, there it is. Uh, that is not an observatory. This is. Let's actually land here, huh? You are the chosen observatory. Obviously. Alright. Let's see what you got. First. Let's grab some sodium. Sodium's good. Another one. Thank you for the condensed carbon. Alright. Uh, no one in here. This is a very simple observatory. Extremely simple anything in here. Can I turn you? Nope. Not that one. Okay. Avanag Reflector. Gek Observatory. Null's prediction was correct. The terminal is curiously open. The log's ready for me to read. The, the observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station, manned by a Gek specialist. A translator. They were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, of, of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment, but it appears that this posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks, aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist and events that did not happen. That Gek went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of 
a Corvax still on board. They never returned. Is this how Nada and Polo met? Is this how my friends found each other? Oh. There is a signal on the console, a warning on repeat, 16 short bursts of data in a loop. Oh. Uh, I extract coordinates for the distress signal. A crashed vessel awaits me on another world. So is this Nada's crater? How interesting. Hold on. Ah. It's my gamma on the world that my gamma penta space is on. How interesting. Guess we get to visit that planet. Last time I was there, I was uh, trying to figure out where can I relocate the base. And I couldn't find any uh, power hotspots anywhere. So. Yeah, for worlds like that where I can't find any power hotspots... Where am I going? Up there. I'm upside down. But yeah, if I can't find a power hotspot, I'm just going to use other means of power. And I think soon I want to get to work on that. Okay. Well, let's go. Hold on. Is it on the planet or the moon? Because, uh... Interesting. Because my base is on the moon, not the planet. I'm not going to my base, please. I'm going... Here. There we go. surface of the planet or on the moon looks like it's on the moon okay let's go did not know there was a oh 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 okay let's slow down slow down slow down let's get a little bit lower be able to see the crash site fairly easily. That is not a crash site. That's a hollow terminus. Interesting. Got a hollow terminus near where we need to go. It's saying approximate location. So let's see. Oh, there it is. Now it appears. Okay. begin our search, and I think we're going to start off with the logs. It's kind of eerie at night, but the, the glow here is at least decent. Okay, let's, let's check this out. MS Anyungu Hammer Freighter Terminal Crew Manifest Missing Limited Data Available Oh, I need a Log Encryption Key Okay, look for the containers nope. Let's uh, Switch to that There's one inside there and one inside. No, that's buried cache. Never mind. A cargo pod. So let's check this one first. It's inside. This one's fairly easy to get to, so I'm gonna do that first. Ah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Oh, look at all of these. Oh, uh, we can't use these. Never mind. Okay. Silicate powder. It's a good thing I had some. Oh, 
Well, there it is. That's exactly what I needed. That is what I needed. Okay. I guess I could look for the other ones and uh, see if they've got any salvage frigate modules. I mean, that's a possibility. Let's try this one. I mean, I'm not guaranteed to find any. More silicate powder. What do we got here? Log encryption key. Are they just going to be giving us log encryption keys? So I've got two log encryption keys now. I don't think I needed two. Huh. Okay. Let's do it. I think they all contain them. Crew manifest. Missing limited data available. Read log. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived. I will record it all, even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically. Not attacking, just watching. Time passed, and the sentinels did not seem, to mu uh, seem so much a threat anymore. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We were wrong. Oh! I do need three of them. Okay. They struck as one, an attack somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances. With the fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes. Okay then. Only I remained. The Korvax stood with me in the end, to their credit. They concealed me with, within their flotilla as they headed towards the center. Okay, let's grab. Let's find the other one. One more. There's one in there. Wait, there's one up there. No, that's that's buried cache. No, I need cargo pod. It's one of those uh, buried inside here. Let's see if this one contains what I'm looking for. No, oh, it's right here. Oh, come on. Okay, this is a bit of a pain because... Ah, there it is. Funny, I'm, I'm picking up the silica powder. I need to open these. There it is. Log encryption key obtained. Yes, I know, I know much radiation, eh? Okay. Let me do something here. I'd like to change this and we'll do this. Is it better that side or this side? Ah. Oh, yeah, this is better. Definitely. Okay. Picture taking is lagged, as always. I like that one. Okay, let's do this. Log integrity, integrity compromise patching. Read log. They are coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. I told Nada to leave. I told them what we already know, all of us. We are not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten just like me, a thousand, a million. We are not alone, for every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we lived. We existed, no matter the no matter the horror of the end. They're at my door. I... Error. Unexpected log, log termination. 
Well then, as the sun has come up now, so this is part of Nada's story. Salvage materials from the wreck. So transmit the freighter's log to Null. There's a hollow terminus nearby anyway, so... Wow. Let me just check here where we are here. Activate the hollow terminus and speak to Null. Yeah, still investigate Null. Okay. All right then. Hollow terminus located, and it should be just. Don't tell me it's gonna be off planet. Uh, okay, where is it? It's nearby. Six hundred sixty-six units. I know where it is. I flew past it. <laughs> We'll just go around and check it out. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Incoming message. Artemis, I, I escaped, Traveler. I escaped. One moment I was running from them. The stars shifting. Terrible smiles within the dark. And the next I was here. Well, wherever here is. This new world has a sun, has life. It's beautiful, but I think anything would be beautiful after the month spent in that awful place. I hope I don't crash. I'm ready to get going now, though. We'll do what we did before, except there will be no shifting stars to stop us this time. If you bring this, this star chart to a nearby station, I'm sure we'll find each other soon. Artemis is unaware of everything. They do not know that they died, that I made a choice to bind their soul within a simulated solar system. I'll tell him later. I tell Artemis I will help, though much has happened since we last spoke. I tell them that I am performing an urgent mission for a newly discovered traveler by the name of Null. I will assist Artemis with their star chart when I can, but it may be some time. They should attempt to find another, another pathway off their world if they can. Artemis's response is muted, but they do not disagree. They wish me luck and terminate the communication. Yeah, I know, I should probably tell him. I will, eventually. Okay. I drifted a little bit. Hold on, the terminus is not there. Let me go up a little bit, because... I had already seen it. Now, if I can find the direction of... Oh, there it is. There's no need for me to land uh, way over there and search for it. I do not want to be facing the terminus as I land, please. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crash. There we go. Hey, very technology right there. I'll take that. Thank you. Extremely useful. Tiny beam, let me grab that. Don't believe there are any um, sentinels on this world. Okay, that exploded. Um, well, let's go. Oh, butterfly. Okay, I thought that was a... Sodium nitrate crystal. Or sodium nitride crystal. Alright, let's go up, 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 up. I'm not going to wait for you to climb. I could have just flown to the top, really. Oops, wrong side. <laughs> Gotta go on the right side, you know. Alright, here we are. We're gonna talk to Null once again. 
Hollow Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. Alright, speak to Null. Which side are you on? You're over here. Alright. What did you find out there? Tell me everything. I tell Null of the freighter and its recordings, how it spoke of a world where the Sentinels eliminated all life, leaving only a traveler and a single Korvax entity. I chose my words with care. You think I do not know who that Korvax entity is? Do not be so naive, traveler. Do you think anything you have read is a, is a surprise to me? But I had to be sure of what I suspected. I know it now. The Atlas is with you. You could not see these things if it did not wish it. That freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. There are countless such places within our multiverse, dimensions where things happen differently. But there are three exceptions to this. The Atlas is omnipresent in all, a singular being with a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. Ask about the Sentinels. They served the Atlas once. They were guardians of reality, defenders of civilization. They hunted for errors within the universes, preventing destruction and loss of life. It's completely opposite to what they are now. The annihilation recorded in that log, well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. Ask about the Atlas. The Atlas created all life and the Sentinels defended it, searching for anomalies within that creation. That they annihilated an entire universe, well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. After a time, the Sentinels ended their service to the Atlas. I already asked. How do you know? That's interesting. I've been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know have had you seen the things that I have seen. It was the Travelers who corrupted existence. Our arrival was meant to her uh, herald a glorious age, but we made a terrible mistake. I, I committed an act beyond forgiveness, and from this deed, paradise was lost. But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Nada knows this, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. Visit a Viking cartographer and speak with him. I will translate. Viking? Cartographer? I need to go to a Viking system. my ship. There. Huh. Okay. So I need to meet with a Viking cartographer. Okay. But I think what I'm going to do... Hold on. <laughs> it is floating here, huh? Ooh, look at that. Look at this cave. It's not as impressive as I thought. All right. Ooh. Okay. I do have some other plans that I would like to do. And this is in preparation for uh, something I'd like to get done. So... Dream Ariel. I need living glass. For living glass, I should gather this. I need lubricant and glass. For lubricant, I need 50 fecium and 400 gamma root. I'm on the right planet for gamma root, in fact. I should have some stored as well on the freighter. Okay. Let me summon my freighter. I need uh, Fusium. Which I should have in the freighter as well. Yeah, and I'll talk to Null as well. Uh, uh, talk to Nada as well. 
Okay, first of all, let's summon my ship, because I would just like to make sure I've got the materials. Okay, please don't crash into me. Initiating landing sequence. Okay. So let's... Well, I don't even need to go up. Let's check the freighter cargo. If there's any... Let's see. Storage container. I need fecium. What was it? Fecium and... It's not here, but... Fecium and oh, meaty chunks. There we go. I can I can eat that stuff. Yeah, gamma root. That's what I'm trying to think of. Fecium and gamma root. Okay. Fecium, fecium, salvaged glass. It may be broken down to access valuable sentinel components. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's for some something else. Okay, let's keep looking. And... Fecium. I've got 80. There we go. I think that's all the Fecium I need. Now I'm just looking for Gamma Root. Gamma Root. 104. I need quite a bit more than that. And... Yeah. All right. Gamma root. Guess we're heading back down to the planet. Or the moon. I need 400 of them. Cloudy right now. It's nighttime. I see. Oh, hold on. Don't want to go in too steep. Oh, we got a storm, don't we? I do need... I am going to go back to the anomaly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't see the surface whatsoever. Ah, oh, there we go. That was an incredibly confusing entry. entry. Okay, let's not crash. I need to find some gamma root. Easier if it's t if it was clearer. This is difficult to see. Does this even have gamma root? Let me just land. got to deal with a storm, don't we? Okay. Right, let's find it. Grawberry. Grawberry. Pulpy roots. Mutant plant. Grawberry. She. Hostile attack? A gamma weed over there. Holy crap. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, okay. That was unexpected. 
Where are you? There you are. Whoa. I was not... I was really not expecting to be attacked by pirates on the ground. Cheryl's gonna die there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Come on. Get your shield. Oh, nice ship. That's an interesting fighter there. Whoa. That's what I get for being in a system with a system that's fairly hostile. Ooh. That I, w I was absolutely not expecting that. Oh, I'm up to 10 stars, my legend. <laughs> All right. That that interrupted my. <laughs> My search. Now if I ha oh there we go, there we go. Gamma weed. Hello. You know that was not very nice of you pirates. Let's see how much I can get here. I may have to find several patches. Hold on. Oh. Those are plants. <laughs> Radiation protection falling. Yeah, I know. Okay, and I'll check in a moment how much I've got. Oof. I don't need any other ships coming over. You're fine. You're a good guy. Okay. God, that planet is just looming above the surface there. All right. So I have it in cargo, right? So I've got 312 gamma root. I'm almost there. I have enough. Uh, I have enough fecium. So let's uh, see if we've got any more nearby. 674 units that way. Could give a run over to there. This won't take long. It's right there. And maybe grab some other resources. Yeah, I don't see any. Well, there's many many resources everywhere. What the heck? Oh, jeez. That was inside uh, that uranium. Alright. Let's go. Let's get it. Grab this, too. You. Mineral record. I got a mineral record. There it is. Okay. Manics. There's a little bit of a, a rough world to run across. I could have used my Nomad, but that thing's so slow right now. I really do need, do need to uh, get some upgrades for it. There we go. Take you two. It's actually a pretty beautiful planet at night.
Ooh. Got a lot of stuff to gather here. Oxygen, thank you. Oh, and carbon crystal. All right, let's get this stuff. Should be almost there. I think that's a very small patch of gamma root. Oh, there's one more. All right, let's see how much I got. Perfect. 409. That means I would be able to... I would be able to craft... I need solar mirror as well. Okay, I could craft the living glass. Once I have glass, I can craft the lubricant. There we go. Next is living glass. I just need five glass. That's easy. Right? And then I need solar mirror. And solar mirror... You know what's funny? I have not learned the recipe for that. I need to go to the uh, anomaly anyway, so... May as well. Get that solar mirror going, and uh, I need to talk to Nada. It seems like this is all about Nada right now. Okay, let's go. How far away is the anomaly right now? Space station's right here. Ah, you're right there. I don't want to go to remote. I want to go to the anomaly. Just summon the anomaly here. Looking green today, aren't you? Okay. I could probably buy a solar mirror as well. I mean, there is that possibility. Okay, first of all... salvage data. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna be doing that. At least what I got so far. Okay, solar mirror. But what have we got here? This looks just like mine. What are ya? It's a C-class. Oh, it doesn't, it's not just like mine. It's Almost, I... Yeah, they're very, very similar. <laughs> okay. Synthesis laboratory. Ah, oh, there it is. Solar mirror. Got it. And... Salvage data. Let's use you. So, I've got seven. Uh, just seven. But let's see what I... What was I looking for before? I'm certain I was looking for something specific. I have a feeling I was. I just need to remember what it was. It's not the lights. The wall switch. These are all power things. I'm not looking into that yet. Yeah, nip nip. Got all that. Can work on stone walls. 
alloy walls. Alloy stuff, primitive shape storage. No. It's... I don't see anything here. What was this? Communications terminal. Ah. Although... Yeah, these require ten. Okay. Alright. I think what we'll do... So we've got these. I don't have... No, we're not going to right now. We'll leave it till later. Let's talk to Nada. Viking entities have long history. Conflict, honor, rage, pride, and yet so static. Defined by themselves, never changing. Nada waits as if expecting me to ask something else. Unaskable about Null. Missing entity is not as missing as they believe. Nada is not traveler entity, but Nada is not young and foolish. Missing entity has their beliefs, their project. So be it. Um, can I say anything else? Missing entity is welcome in our home, but they do not desire it. So it goes. Ah. Quicksilver. How much silver do I have? 900. Check something here. Just want to see. Create exotic items from Quicksilver. So let's see. Oh, there's so much in here. Tier one, eighty-seven percent. I am. I'm nowhere near what I want. I'm expecting this to be expensive, so I, I just want to see the price. Null figurine. Void egg. There it is. 3200 Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Collect expedition rewards. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm I'm still I still haven't uh done the uh Pole Star expedition completely. All right. So, I need to speak with Viking a Viking cartographer, but for episode 100, we're going to do something special and it's not the Viking we're going to do something else. I'm sure you can guess what we're going to be doing. But uh, you let me know in the comments what you think. So I'd like to thank you for joining me on this great adventure. Check out the playlist on the right in case you missed any episodes. Consider subscribing if you like what you see. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.